Okay, in the meantime, any questions you may ask me. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. In Coal India and Bharti Airtel. Okay. Total traded volume quantity broken by so last week's quantity broken by today. <coughs> All right. Let's have a look. Bajaj yes. Pincel also broke out. Okay. So let's go one by one. Motors. Bajaj, pin, serve. SV, FIM SV. <clears throat> so Bajaj FinServe last week, uh, deliverable quantity, this. Uh, sir, I think it's Bajaj Finance, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a minute. Okay, Bajaj Finance, we will try to avoid uh, this month, uh, this week. And I'll tell you the okay. reason. Bajaj Finance is sideways, huh? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. So, from the weekly perspective, it is sideways. So, we'll try it, uh, we will trade it once it uh, breaks out from a monthly perspective. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, weekly it is sideways. And also yeah. weekly, there is no breakout. Okay. Okay. What was the other one? Coal India, right? Uh, Uday? Sir, Coal India, Tata Motors, Bharti Airtel. Okay. Coal India, <coughs> 50, 36. Okay, so there is a breakout. The height. Six. There seems to be a breakout huh? in coal India, but it is in the positive side. Okay, we just have to be careful with this one because this is a bearish stock. Okay, coal India is bearish, it is in strong bearish trend. So, we'll just be careful with this one. You can trade this, there's no problem. But uh, just be careful. Just look at the derivatives that uh, the derivatives are also breaking out. Okay, so let's see. Coal in 290 India. call. So coal in India. 290 call build. So open entry. 75. The biggest one, biggest change is in 275. The biggest addition has happened in 275. And uh, that is where uh, we see open interest, the highest open interest is. Am I right or wrong? Correct, sir. Right. Right. Okay, so 275. Now, this is 275, right? It is the same level call. And we see that it has already built a resistance around it. Okay, so I'm not too sure whether it's a bullish trend. It might be a bearish trend. Okay.
ओके यस सर सर व्हेन ए ब्रेकआउट हैपेंस शुड बी चेक फॉर दैट ब्रेकआउट टू ब्रेक द लास्ट वीक्स वॉल्यूम आल्सो सर हां इट डिपेंड्स सी इफ यू आर डूइंग अ वीकली वीक टू वीक काइंड ऑफ अ ट्रेडिंग ओके देन जस्ट फोकस ऑन द वीक ओके बट do it uh, properly now let's see uh, let's look at uh, say coal india uh, see this is we are trying to follow the weekly perspective right so in weekly perspective yeah. we should start from 9th right so the first last price is here 267.45 Yes, two sixty seven point four five. Then two sixty four, two sixty four, and then two sixty two point eight. So is it bullish, bearish? Bearish. Bearish, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the reason I'm saying. Okay, so if it has to become bullish with this breakout, then let it become bullish first. Okay, we can trade it later. Okay, sir. Okay, now let's look at a monthly perspective. So say from first of July onwards. Okay, so let's see what was the highest traded quantity was fifty. Correct. Yeah. 48. So it was 50, right? This is what I see. Now this is a monthly volume breakout. There is no delivery breakout, but there is a price breakout. So there are breakouts on two parameters. Okay. Now let me check from May. Okay, so in the month of May, this seems to be the highest volume. This yes, month, sir. the price was three zero three point four five. Okay, and in the month of uh, June. This one seems to the highest one. The high is 270, so 258.20 is the low. So it's in a bearish trend. <clears throat> Now, uh, if I look at the June volume, uh, sorry, the highest volume of June, okay, which is this one. I see two seventy point two zero, and the highest volume of July is this one two sixty six or two sixty three point zero five. So it seems that it wants to break out uh, bullish. Okay, because uh, let's see. uh july and june so in the month of uh, june we saw this one 270.20 okay 
Đấy. À... <cười> Now July 48, 50. So 263, 263 and 258. So 258.20. Okay, so this is where it is. this line now let's see where did it open today so it opened sideways right so it opened first of august so it opened sideways and it kind of <clears throat> broke out the upper range okay now with coal india so it is certainly showing giving us uh, bullish indications okay now let's see coal india the biggest accumulation is somewhere here right where it added and it has opened till the point which is 310 okay so right so so 310 this call is opened okay so 310 is the last call which is currently active so what we will do is first as 310 okay now see over here the high is 55 paisa right yes or no sir sir so if it has to go bullish if uh, coal india has to go bullish it will break uh, uh, this first so 0.55 on the farthest call should be broken so it should go to at least 0.6 okay in the morning followed by 275 is the level where the highest open yes, interest is uh, is uh, is built yes. okay so so 275 is 7 rupees 65 paisa right so if it is 7 rupees 65 paisa most likely if coal india has to be bullish tomorrow most likely the call price should open above 7.65 okay so primarily three conditions to be met one the price should be above it should break the highs okay point number 2 is the farthest call highest price which is 55 paisa or whatever should also be broken and the third is that 275 call which is the tradable call okay most likely it will open above 7. Point, uh, whatever uh, 7.65 okay so it might open around 8 rupees or something <clears throat> then it might recede down 7.65 by then all the three conditions should have been met then most likely this will be the level which should form the support and the price should go up okay now let's do a one more thing <clears throat> from a fundamental analysis perspective let's see vdl also there seems to be something sorry. going sorry 
in metals, uh, coal India is the most gainer and Hindalco is the top loser. Top loser. Okay. In oh. 50, 50, so I see that there is some volume which has come over here as well. Okay. In Vedanta and uh, I guess VDL is already weakly bullish. Uh, can you, I don't think so, okay, you can see the Excel sheet, right? Yes, sir. So VDL seems to be bullish. Tata Steel bullish. Hindalco also bullish. Okay, so it's okay, it's fine. I guess uh, you can look at it from a long perspective. Okay, you can look at it from a long perspective. Now, you said Hindalco. Okay. Hindalco, there was a breakout on 27. See? 2.20. Two hundred and twelve. Now this is a mixed this thing, you know. See this particular day there was a multifold breakout over here, right? Then the volume reduced. When the volume reduced, see the price fell. When the volume increased, the price rose. Then again the volume uh, reduced the price fell so in hindalco there seems to be supply yes, sir. are you able to follow this like yes. the way i'm looking at it is that see there is a multifold delivery volume breakout over here now ideally what should happen is that uh, it should not at least break the low of this okay even if it doesn't stay above this level but at least it should not break the low of this. I see that when the volumes reduced, it very comfortably broke the low. Yes, sir. Okay. And um, 201.7. So there was, um, see, um, if, if you look at it, there was a liquidity gap over here. Am I right? Uh, wrong. Last price, high price, low price. Okay. See, the low is 212, and this day's high is 210. So there seems to be some two and a half, two, uh, two rupee kind of a one and a half rupee kind of a liquidity gap. Yes or no? Okay. Now in Hindalco, if bullishness comes maybe it will come around this 201 level because it has broken the low of this now the next obvious support level comes somewhere closer to this point now in this you see that it has already broken the high so high doesn't have much of significance but the low should have so 201.7 is the area if it has to go up if it has to resume the uptrend then maybe it will have to break out. It will it will go below 201.7 and from there it will try to go back up. Okay, so I'm just trying to draw some correlations, nothing else. Okay. So in coal India, definitely it seems uh, quite uh, bullish. Only thing is that we need to take care of uh, those uh, small things. 
All right. What was the other one uh, you said? Tata Motors. Uh, Tata, Tata Motors. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, Tata Motors is also in the BA, no, not in the bearish list. Okay, let's see. So Tata Motors, 5 lakhs, 76. If I look at uh, July data also, so it's a breakout, right? No, no doubt it's a breakout. And, uh, this is the high 273.75, so it seems to be above this. Let's look at uh, June. June, highest volume. June, highest volume seems to be this one, right? So 288.4. So it has built support at the lower end of the zone and it has broken out. So most likely it will go up to 288 levels, maybe. Uh, let's look at it on the charts. Sir, actually the levels was below, no? The last month and the, the mm. on this Ju June months. Mm. Let's see. So, and Tata Motors was the top uh, loser this morning, right? Ah, yes. It's yes, pretty open. Right. Pretty open. Yes. So, if you look at it, so June uh, 288.4. So, 88.4. Apply. And uh, the low seems to be of this month, uh, which is 5th of July, 2 lakhs, is the heaviest volume. So 252.55. Okay, so... <clears throat> It seems to have opened uh, bearish, right? Correct. So it opened bearish, broke out on the upside. And okay. this is the upper zone. Okay. Now in this one, we won't try to jump in immediately. Okay. Because let's see. uh do you remember the dates uh, this this was the one right 26th of june right okay 26th of june and uh, which was the one 5th of july So this was the, this thing, right? Where we have drawn the zone. So this was the high and this is the low, correct? Now, in between these two days, it seems to me this is the most heaviest, uh, this thing, right? 195 over here and yes, 86, okay? And this yes. day is 28th of June. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's look at 28th of June. So 
so this is 28th of june and it seems that uh, the heaviest volume was somewhere here right this this is the candle which has the heaviest volume 315 So on 28th of June, this is the high, this is the low plus this zone and this blue area is the most significant zone. Okay, so let's see now. Does it seem that it has broken out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so it opened bearish. It has broken this out. Okay. This is where the significant uh, day's high is. It is still below that. And um, this is the upper end of the zone. Now, in Tata Motors, I will not trade immediately, okay? What I will do is, see the, currently this day significant zone seems to be somewhere here. So I don't know if it tries to come back and build a support somewhere, you know, in this zone. So what we will do is, see it has broken out, right? Uh, I'll increase the, See, there is a breakout, right? That is what we see here, okay? Now, the volume is very high, delivery volume is also very high. Now, there is no rush because today is the first day of the month, okay? So, what we will do is, we will let the this thing reduce, uh, what you call, uh, the volumes reduce. You see this volume, right? So, most likely tomorrow the volume should be less than one, one crore most likely okay then we will see if it is building positions here getting my point if it is building positions here at a lower volume now say for example it tries to come down tomorrow and finally it again goes back and closes above this zone this blue line this blue zone right then it will give us a comfort level that yes this particular zone is getting treated as what support Sir. Understood? If that happens, then we will try to see if, uh, you know, now this is the breakout day. So Tata Motors options chain. Let's see. See, because, see, there is a lot of mixed uh, this thing this is the call side right yes. now why is the change in open interest minus in between uh, doesn't give a very comfortable feeling okay because what should happen is it should seamless have positive 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 throughout okay so what we will do is we will let it settle down at least tomorrow at least okay then let's see what happens because if tomorrow with lower volume it breaks down and it forms a resistance at this level then most likely it will go and take support at this place okay fine yeah. so looking at this data the highest um, open interest addition is this level Today, it has yes, opened sir. the highest open interest. 
it has added the highest open interest at uh, 290 levels, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and maybe yeah. because of uh, 288 being the last high. Yeah, then. The puts have more open interest, right, sir? If uh, if we look today also, huh, because change we... in open interest is more. See, that is what, if, if you look at uh, the change in open interest, okay, they are minus, no doubt, okay. But on this side, there should be a seamless addition. <laughs> right? There should be a seamless hmm. uh, kind of a addition. Hmm. Okay, there should not be minus in between and, you know, generally it doesn't happen, right, in a bullish stock. Why are people covering 280 levels? There's no, you know, logical reason for it. Sir, hmm. sir today Tata Motors reported a net loss of around 2,000 crore uh, for this quarter. Hmm. So how do we correlate that? Today yes, the itself. bad news is over. See, stock market, stock prices, they they don't uh, react with the, uh, 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 what you say, a bad news will always be bad or a good news will always be good. Okay. Because here it is uh, buy on rumor, sell on, uh, sell on news. So, if there is a net loss and there is a big loss, okay, see, it came down, right? It gapped down. Okay, so people started thinking that, okay, guys, uh, the bad news is over. Now, what further bad can happen? Getting my point? Now it should be all good. Yes or no? The news is all discounted. Yeah. Ah, news is all discounted. So, what happens is, say, for example, my daughter gets a zero in mathematics. Okay. Now, what below zero? <laughs> Next examination, at least she will get one. <laughs> so one is anyways better than zero, right? So that is how stock markets think. Okay. So, <laughs> so that, that is the kind of situation. Okay. Exactly this pattern happened in Infosys. You remember last quarter results? Not this quarter, last quarter result. If you will open Infosys chart on the day of uh, its result in the last quarter, it was an identical pattern. It was a huge loss and all that. It gapped down big time. But then it kept going up, up, up. It is now making new highs, right? Yes, sir. So, so the pattern seems to be identical. Okay, but in Tata Motors, we let the news settle because of this reason. And you see these levels are quite respected levels. Yes or no? Sir. See, over here also, it didn't, um, you know, break this. Today it broke, then again, see, it recovered. If you look at it, it actually recovered. So... <clears throat> So when it was trying to fall from here, see inside the trading always happens in, uh, you know, every stock. So when it was traveling like this, no, the price was getting adjusted to the news which was supposed to come today. Now the moment the news is released, people are, the, the, uh, the promoters will all, uh, all try to get back into the same stock at a much lower price. Now see, if people exited at around 300 levels, guys who knew about it, okay, they are entering at around 250 levels, right? So they they re-entered the stock at 50 rupees uh, cheaper price. And all this happens, very, very common. Okay, so, we will let it settle a little bit. Uh, let the volume reduce. If it still makes a, this thing, and what will also happen is that tomorrow trading day, 
there would be a heavy volume uh, there would be a higher volume uh, there would be a candle with the uh, high volume say for example like this is the highest volume of the day the same way there would be a highest volume of tomorrow when it will trade that volume will move above this line getting my point so that will that will give us a confirmation that there is buying interest in the stock and then if it starts breaking the highs and all uh, we will enter no problem it can go up to 290 levels and maybe that will correct this problem also these minus minus problems Okay, which is the other one? Bharti Airtel. Sir, in Tata Motors now, when we drew the zones of last month and uh, the month before that, those zones had a lower low and a lower high now. Hmm. So, the ultimate trend in this stock is down, right? Yes, if the stock comes back, Ultimate stock ah. is down. Uh, the trend is down. Now, if the stock, down, see, yes. it will get clear only tomorrow day after. Ah. See, this is a very significant zone. Yeah. See, if it was not a significant zone, then see why was this uh, why was this holding here? Okay. See, over here yeah. also it tried taking resistance from this level. See, it sold mm. off to some extent, right? Then it broke out. Yes. When it broke out, people started building positions here. Okay, so there is some mm -hmm. significance of the zone, right? Now, <laughs> tomorrow when the price, uh, sorry, the volume will reduce and things will get normal. Mm. Okay, we'll see whether there is supply or there is uh, demand. Mm. Because don't forget, the stock on the first day of the month has opened bearish. Yes. Okay, don't forget that. And if the stock has yes. to fall, if it has to fall, it will form mm -hmm. the month significant level below this level. Getting my point? Uh, Pos month the significant level. Positional trading. See, when will the big movement happen? The big movement will happen when the smart money will get in. Ah, yes. Okay. So, right now, yeah. there is no smart money in this. These are mm. all investors. There are no traders. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm. from a monthly perspective, there has to be positions in futures, short or long, mm. whichever, which will expire at the end of the month. Okay. That is what mm. will make the mm. stock volatile. Mm. So, I see that the stock has opened bearish. It has broken yes. the, a significant level. Okay. Now, yes. I will let the volume settle down. If at a lower yes. volume also, the price is staying up. Okay. Yeah. Then most likely it is going to the 280, 280 uh, 288, 290 levels. <laughs> because see the significant days high is also not taken out so there is no hurry to trade this yes see this was the high of uh, that significant day whatever it was 26th of june or whatever so it has still not broken out this level if this would have really taken some support here and broken out and gone to this level i would have still thought okay fine it will go to 288 <laughs> okay, so there is also one bigger resistance which is sitting here. See, it fell. See, it <laughs> opened up. Couldn't retain. See, every time it couldn't retain. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, and today also it is below that level. Okay. Yes. So, <clears throat> so when I'm looking at it, I will let the uh, uh, this thing settle down and second thing would be if it has to fall if it has to further get bearish this month significant level it will form here and how will you get to know about it is on this report on this report 
on this report. Uh, the way you see a breakout here, it is more than double. Yes. Okay, don't bother about uh, monthly numbers. There is a hmm. breakout, right? It's a double number. Yes. Yes. You see there is a breakout here, double number. Yeah. You see a breakout here more than three times number. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. When this happens, it is forming a level, right? 290 to 281, whatever. Yes. The similar sort of a thing will happen in this month. And that zone which it is creating, that zone will be below this line, below this 252. Okay, that is the place from where the traders will take it short. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, let's look at uh, which was the other one uh, you said uh, Bharti Airtel, right? Sir. Okay, before Bharti Airtel, before, so that I don't forget, uh, I have to tell you something from my side, which is Access Bank. Now, in Access Bank, there was this great fall, right? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And I said that uh, the upper zone was somewhere closer to 544, uh, I guess, right? The upper level. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, this week the opening was outside, right? So this broke out, and when this broke out, it has broken out with delivery volume. Yes, sir. So there was a breakout, right? With if you look at this area, it was a breakout of the yes, previous sir. week. So it fell quite drastically, right? And uh, the significant day, whichever it was, uh, this day last week 26th of july right yes sir okay on this day the significant level was somewhere for i'm roughly i'm not taking the points and all okay i'm just uh, roughly doing it so 543 and uh, on the lower side is it was i guess 541 541 or 540 Now, today the volume has reduced, right? This day the volume was very high. It was a breakout, breakout volume, right? It was a breakout yes, volume. Sir. See, today the volume has reduced, cooled down. Yes, sir. Nothing, right? See, nothing. So when the volume has reduced, see today morning, it fell drastically. It came from, it opened somewhere here. It came to this zone, significant zone, right? And I yes, guess sir. I have discussed this in ITA mentorship class also. So this is the zone, right? It went below this. Yes. And do you see it was trying to It was trying to go above this level, 
if you look at it it was trying to go above this level and in the final last few minutes right it came back and it closed somewhere closer to this level yes or no okay but it did not break this support if you if you look at it it didn't break the support okay so please monitor this okay please monitor this because today was rbi policy also some repo rates etc have increased okay so access bank we said is uh, bullish for the week right <clears throat> Yes, so there might be a, a, a situation that it tries to gain some momentum and tries to go back to this level of wherever uh, 200 and uh, sorry 580 levels this one okay there could be a possibility okay okay so just keep it on your watch list Let's look at Bharti. Yeah. But sir, how to correlate this with Bank Nifty? Because Bank Nifty seems to be very bearish right now. No, I am correlating this with uh, FinServ, which is a bullish sector for the week. Okay. Because Access Bank is also in FinServ, no? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Bharti at uh, yeah, it's a breakout high seventy three eighty four. Open price was fifty nine. out to 73 actually the first big trade is over in bharti airtel in bharti airtel look at a monthly perspective okay weekly perspective trade seems to be over now First of June, 40, 50, 60. So this is the place, 82, 90. Am I right? Yes, sir. 13th of June. Now, July. Let's see, July 6472. So 72 is the max, right? And it is 3653 What was Sorry, the in 27th of July? How at 81 lakhs now volume? Ah, sorry, 81. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So 27th of July. So this is the level, okay? 373.9 and uh, 371.6. Now, what was the previous level? June 13th. This one, right? 82.90 and uh, 3.73. So 351.65 is the low.
so 351 and uh, what was the height three uh, 2.8 382, 383. So this is how it is, right? Now, let's see. It has opened bullish. It has opened above the zone correct so this has opened bullish it is not sideways that it will break out and will go up okay so it will first have to form something okay so how will it form this is i don't see a breakout yet okay now see this is 85 uh, 12 which is a breakout of last month volume and uh, delivery volume okay fine now it seems it has built support over here right yes or no the direction is this side correct always remember the direction is this side so it will take some time to bottom out now the most important level is this one and 13th of June okay so let me change the date so from 13th of June till 27th of July correct yes sir sir actually in um, but uh, where they are it is a divergence right sir uh -huh, but see it is a it is a bullish opening okay uh -huh. on first day of the month it is opening here which is above this yeah. entire zone see look at it it is above the zone correct yeah yeah now you cannot pick it up and go long because the levels are below yeah yes the level has to be above to go long yeah yes so there has to be resistance formation yeah so it has to be above if it is below then it has to take support <laughs> okay and support doesn't come in a in one hour or two hour okay it takes a little bit of time now <laughs> what we will see is that okay uh, in between 13th of june and the last day it seems that this is the most significant this thing 72000 volume right the highest in between these two correct yes sir yes sir it is 6th of july So 6th of July is somewhere here. This is 6th of July, right? And I see that the most significant candle was this one, which is 1120. So I'm marking this with some thin lines. And the high of this day was here. Let me make it blue. and the low was here okay yes. apply okay now let's see okay now if i look at this it is a bullish opening so the significant level from a positional trading perspective has to be formed somewhere here correct if it goes down now 
it will try to find support somewhere here and most likely in this zone which is 362 getting my point yes sir okay otherwise it will break out over here and will form a new level from where we can go along but at the moment it is not tradable from my perspective it is not tradable okay another thing let's have a look 13th of june 82.973 right 73.51 so it is forming lower lows right and lower highs okay sure. so anyways it will take time for it to reverse if it has to go long if it has to go long it will take time to bottom out it's not going to be that easy okay yes sir rather if somewhere over here all ports have added open interest right that is what it seems yes yes for 11 So let it uh, cool off and uh, bottom out. Only after that you can trade this. There is otherwise no this thing. There doesn't seem to be a trade directly to me. So sir, we will. Good. Abir. Okay. Uh, so we'll uh, need to wait for a delivery volume breakout uh, like two or three times uh, to form above this zone to uh, uh, right uh, to initiate a uh, like uh, hmm. uh, long trade. Actually, what will happen is that uh, there would be a multi breakout multi times breakout and say for example it will form a range like this somewhere here i'm just hypothetically saying but it will be above this line okay after that it will take some time and there would be position building and then it will go up and it will take uh, one or two days huh? It's not going to be five minutes, 10 minutes. It will take a day or two to properly adjust to this uh, environment. Because see, it is. it went into a bearish trend. After getting into a bearish trend, it takes some time to bottom out. After it will bottom out, only then it can go up. Unless it bottoms out properly, it uh, will not have a momentum upside. Okay, however, if it sells off and goes below this level, then it's a direct sell. Because then it is resuming its original trend. 
getting my point sir if it crosses 360.08 levels then it is a sell no uh -huh. the importance if, if say out. it breaks down it will most likely hmm. form positions over here here okay. yes and then straight away 340 levels or so this low that yeah. you see 340 or something 340 levels or so from here hmm. <laughs> okay so in this case see uh, uh, if the stock has to go up it will do something like this right okay right i am expecting it should do this Getting my point? Mm, yes, sir. Okay, so it is trying uptrend. But from a trading perspective, should see here also it has honored something. We can see this. Okay and this way yeah a very good stock bpcl yeah seems to be bullish and i hmm? yeah cuz so that's what i was observing bpcl hmm. i think is it trying to get bullish from sideways sir it was sideways and i think it's trying to get bullish correct good place and uh, ideally all of these uh, bpcl gale hind petro ioc ONGC. Reliance anyways mm -hmm. is already there. So all of these uh, seems to be pushing upwards and especially in BPCL because BPCL has bounced from the lower end. Yes. What were the critical levels weekly perspective? I have marked this uh, June and July, sir. Hmm. Not that is 28th of June. So 28th of June, what was the level? 296 something, right? No, uh, high, oh, high was 385, sir. High was 385.20. 385.20. Okay, and uh, how about uh, uh, July? July high is 395.50. Correct. So 395. Point Five. Five zero. Okay. Now let's see. Bearish opening. Uh, sorry, sideways opening. Yes, yes. Sideways opening pushed outside. Yes. Okay. What was the low? Three hundred something. Na? Kitna? Three. Uh, low of uh, july sir july is which is the lowest low of, uh, june june sir 363 363 Sir, the significant level of BPCL is not clearly above the zone, right, sir? Above the uh, level. One second. <clears throat> Last week, 23rd. Three ninety six, three eighty seven point seven zero. Yesterday, I took this example, right, uh, in ITA class. Yes, sir. See, from a weekly perspective, it opened outside, right? Yes, it sir. came down, 
it has built support outside uh, at the lower end of the range today there seems to be a breakout of the upper end okay there is a likelihood that it should go to 210 levels before friday 410 okay 410 levels uh, by friday that is what i would expect okay because when see from here it has moved outside the volume has also increased and the delivery volume has also increased this is an important price level right yes sir. it's an important price level with a delivery volume breakout and with a volume breakout yes. okay so from that perspective okay okay and other stocks would have also done this uh, i am not in favor of trading gale and in the petro i guess because over there the openings were above the weekly upper range like in case of uh, bpcl you see that it came down it rejected the level then it rose to this level and it finally closed outside so this seems to me to be a better trade okay if it goes up it seems to be a better trade okay compared to gale or hind petro because over there what has happened is that it opened here and it has built the support around this level so in my opinion it has to build a significant level which is somewhere here above this uh, this place now in case of weekly we don't have that much of time for a stock to build all that from a monthly perspective we can trade that okay yes yes Anything else? Any other stock? Sir, Aisha Motors uh, has closed below the zones. Aisha Motor. Okay, don't trade Aisha Motor. Okay, uh, only observe Aisha Motor because the volatility is uh, uh, the liquidity is low, so the volatility is high. Okay, at a time it will move uh, 200 rupees or something, 200, 300 rupees. So managing it becomes little difficult. What did I do? Is the spelling wrong? Okay, so So 29th of June seems to be the most significant level, right? And July is 26th, 26th of July. Okay. Yes, sir. Twenty-eight 
27 27 8 46 yes 134 it should fall my opinion oh, okay. it should fall yeah yeah Sir, in such cases, we don't want to look for uh, delivery breakouts below the zones, no? No, no. If it is in uh, uh, direction. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. In its direction. But don't uh, sell blindly. It can happen that it comes inside the zone and then falls back. See, you have the whole month to yeah. trade it. Okay, so don't be in a rush to trade. Uh, <clears throat> but if the trade is going in the trend, that it has already established then uh, breakouts and all is uh, less meaningful sir yes. in the same sir hmm? in the same bank sir in the same bank okay one second just writing down something yes Guys, uh, did you buy a whiteboard or something which I said once a while, I guess, once upon a time. If you can do that, it will be very good because all these names will be in front of you always. Okay. Whichever we discuss and, you know, we find trends in so that tomorrow morning you don't forget. like whiteboard sticky notes or whatever okay so first of june yes. 15 june sir 15 june is the significant huh? yes sir yes, sir. okay 15 june and uh, july july it is 26th sir so 26th this place yes so there's no breakout yet Okay, let's see mm -hmm. which side is it going? Uh, 197, 78, 88. The divergence, I think. Ah, it is, it has opened bullish. Yeah, so it has to first come down and then go. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Monthly perspective. Yeah, okay. It has to form a significant level above this 1988 because it is opening outside. It is opening with a lot of optimism. Mm. Yes. Okay. So I would assume that, uh, say, what date is this? 26th, right? Yes. See, 26th. Okay, so in between these two levels, why did you take 26th of July and not uh, this one? 10th of July? 10th of July. It is 33 lakhs, no? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. In this section. Okay, so whatever uh, this day seems to be the most significant. Fifteen lakh shares or whatever. So I would assume that it will come into this range. 
will try to break uh, uh, build a uh, what do you call uh, uh, establish a support zone and break out okay focus okay so good so continue to practice okay so august is a full practice uh, week so say for example in today's discussion we talked about coal india access bank uh aishar motor bpcl okay so today's session we worked out uh, these correct sir so sir. so start practicing these okay take a small notebook and uh, keep writing all this and uh, at the end of the month we'll try to review what has happened okay and you have to do it right now this month focus only on nifty 50 guys uh next month onwards you can start with nifty 100 stocks the same way okay sir okay all right so we won't have a class tomorrow we'll have a class day after tomorrow ptmp class tomorrow would be ita okay. mentorship okay sir okay all right okay Thank All right. You. Good night. Bye bye. All of you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good night. Bye. Thanks. Good night.